these pants are so hard to sit in. Hey dudes and welcome back to my freaking channel. It's Julianne and we are back at it with another monthly plan with me. It is the end of February, which means that we are planning for March and this month's theme is going to be fruit juice boxes, which I think came out really cute. It's not as crazy as like my other themes, but I feel like I really needed to relax this month. So if you guys are here to play with me, make sure you have your stationery ready. And if you guys are here just to relax, make sure you have a snack, a beverage, and let's get on with the video. We are first getting started with a juice box on the cover page and of course it's apple juice. It's the most iconic of all the juice boxes and I mean who even comes next? Like orange juice? In a box? Nah, that's in a bottle. Sunny D baby. And why have like fruit punch in a box when you can have a Capri Sun? Pacific cooler, you know what I mean? To outline the juice box, I'm using my Tombow Fudonosuke, and I usually like using my Tombow Fudonosuke for a line variation, but nowadays I basically choose it every single time over my Pigma Microns for any kind of line work. I just love the flexibility in the tip, and the Pigma Microns get kind of finicky when you draw at an angle, and I don't know if that's true for anyone else, but that's what I've noticed for myself anyway. In terms of the juice box design, knowing me, a very extra person, I didn't want to just do a plain old flat juice box. I wanted to spice it up, and so I made it see-through. Very spicy. This style of art is really popular on Instagram. I'm not really sure who started it, but the first person I saw to popularize it was Art by Angie. To color, I'm using my Tombow Duo brush pens, of course, what's new, and also a mild liner brush pen. It's the only mild liner brush pen I own, and I bought it specifically for the color. For the rest of this page, again, me, a very extra person, could not just leave it alone and blank, so I decided to do a really quick and easy pattern with some leaves, apples, and little hearts. I've been really into pattern design lately, so it kind of manifested itself into my bullet journal and also inspired me to make my own washi tape samples for this month's theme. These washi tape samples along with the other stickers that will be made from this spread similar to what I did with last month's theme will be available in my shop so it will be linked in the description box below. Also, 15% of the proceeds from my shop will be donated to Asian American foundations to help fight against the disgusting racial attacks we are currently seeing in the Asian American community and that will be running for the rest of this month. Also, 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 at the beginning of March, I will be coming out with a sticker dedicated to this cause where 100% of the proceeds from that sticker will be donated amongst these various foundations. I can't even begin to tell you guys the level of disgust and anger and just sadness I feel whenever I see another elderly Asian person getting pushed or punched or acid thrown in their face. It's disgusting. It's just so gross. And what's also just so gross is the lack of media coverage on all of this. Like mainstream media is only starting to kind of catch up, but they'll only highlight it for like a quick second. So if you guys don't have the means to buy stickers or to donate yourself, then I implore you guys to help spread awareness. And thank you for listening to my TED talk. I'm so sorry if you guys don't like getting political or you guys don't like listening to political things. But to me, this is not a political issue. This is just straight up injustice. It's disgusting. It's gross. And we just gotta talk about it some more, you know? But anyway, back to the spread. So sorry, that was so heavy. Again, I'm going in with this pattern of apples, leaves, and hearts, and also threw in a few see-through apples. Okay, so hear me out. Let me know if anyone else feels me on this, but as a kid, I took the whole apple a day keeps a doctor away thing like very seriously like i always needed to have an apple at least once a day because my six-year-old brain was like bro i'm not trying to die like who the heck hyped up all these fears let me know in the comments below what was your irrational fear as a kid because like was i the only one scared of the bermuda triangle now moving on to the calendar spread, I'm just doing a classic box layout and the left side being drawn in orange and the right side being drawn with a Pigma Micron. Guys, this past month, my mental health really took a nasty dip and it might sound like I'm always like in mental health crisis, but it's not. It's just whenever I talk about it, it's in a negative context and I guess that kind of paints a different kind of picture. Anxiety is a daily struggle and some months are better than others and the beginning of this month was just trash for me and I'm really tempted to blame it on the mercury retrograde instead of me irresponsibly neglecting my mental wellness for these past few months and it accumulating into a storm of self-doubt, anxiety, and emotional instability so yeah we'll just call that the mercury retrograde. 
But anywho, because I was feeling so terrible and stuck and gross, which is not great for the creative process, I was having a really hard time coming up with a theme and committing to a color scheme, so I'm just doing every color, you know? I'm just making every page a different color scheme, but I'm sticking to the design style so that the entire spread still looks cohesive. Also, I've decided to switch it up with the habit tracker. For the past few months, I've been creating a Dutch door design to connect the tracker with the calendar page, which I really liked. It was super effective for me, which is dope, but I wanted to switch things up and try something a little different by putting the habit tracker at the bottom of the page, which I really was kind of undecided on. Like if you look real close, you can tell that I did some cutting and some reattaching of some pages because I don't know, basically filming this was an absolute mess and I was doubting every move and in reality, bullet journaling shouldn't cause me this much stress. I don't know why I was worrying so much about what everyone was thinking this bullet journal is for me, you know, so I don't know. I, and like that being said, I'm still like iffy about it. I think I'll be going back to the Dutch door design next month, but we shall see how I feel about it then. On the right side of the page, I'm going with a collage look and I'm terrible at collage, but now that I'm a little bit more comfortable using washi tape, I'm a little bit braver to, you know, start doing some more collage type spreads. Of course, I will always remain doodle heavy, that's just who I am, but this is just a good way to step outside of our creative comfort zones and learn a little bit more. If any of you guys have any collage tips, please leave them in the comments down below because I am really bad about not being good at things. Like, I just don't have the ego to handle learning, so I need some tips ASAP. Like, I'm not trying to say that I'm like, wow, I'm so good at everything, but I am the type of person that if I don't pick it up quickly, I will rage quit, like, immediately. For my tracker, I am adding on a new tracker, which is going to be my plant care tracker. I just said tracker like 50 times, I'm so sorry about that. But I now have a decent amount of plants and I buy plants whenever I'm sad or like whenever I go to Trader Joe's, so I've accumulated quite a bit. And so I wanted a way to figure out when I last watered them or when I last took them into the shower with me for that humidity, you know, things like that. And I don't know, I have more than what's listed here, but they have similar care to the ones I have listed. So I kind of just grouped them together. For the juice box for this page, I decided to do lemon tea from Vitasoy instead of doing lemonade since it's a lot more near and dear to my heart. It brings back a lot of nostalgia and I personally love the color combo. As for the rest of this page, I'm just creating a content planner, which I still haven't found a format that works best for me. I've been using Notion lately, which is a great tool because sometimes I have to like move around things to make it fit with my schedule because things come up, you know? And sometimes when you write them down on paper, it's like, oh my God, how do I move this? But what I like doing is I like writing everything down in my journal just to sort out my thoughts and then move them onto my Notion. So I'll be experimenting with this until I can find something that works for me and I'll let you guys know. And now moving on to the weekly spread, this spread is going to be peach themed, which I've honestly been wanting to do for forever, but I've been staying away from it because everyone does a peach theme. It's like so normy now and it's, ugh, it's just so, so cute. I'm so glad I found a way to do it that still feels like very me. So this would be a peach juice box, but it would actually be like peach nectar, I think. How do you guys determine what is nectar and what is juice? Like what about the fruit makes it nectar and not juice? You know what I mean? 
I just want to know for educational purposes because sometimes I'll call something juice and they'll be like, no, it's nectar. And I'm like, oh my god, I don't know. So yeah, please educate me because I'm simply just too lazy to Google. For the layout of this page, I am going with a simple box layout for each day. This spread is going to resemble the calendar spread in that half of the page will be patterned and the other half will be collage-y. This is a part of the page where I think a lot of people would have just print and edited the peaches and then just glue it in, but honestly, I was way too lazy to go find a picture of peaches, edit it, and so I just drew in my own pattern inside a confined box to give the same feeling. Feel free to print out your own picture here. I think it'd be really, really cute. It's just that while filming, it just seems so unattractive to me to hop onto my computer and then figure that out. And here I am drawing in a glass peach or a see-through peach, and then also the little task box I always do. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching my video. It means the whole world to me. I say it at the end of every video, and I say that I say it at the end of every video, but like I literally can't find another way to say like how grateful I am. Which, speaking of which, now is where I showcase some of your guys' beautiful recreations, which it's mind blowing that anyone recreates any of my spreads, honestly. So, if you guys want to see any more of my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment because I love the comment section and also be sure to check out the description box below. That's where my sticker shop will be and like I said earlier, 50% of the proceeds for the rest of this month and also next month will be going to the causes I've linked down below as well as my Instagram and my Cover Cut Studios Instagram which will have the announcement for the solo sticker where 100% of the proceeds will be donated. So I think that's all I need to plug. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!